Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this limit problem. We are given that the limit of the function f of x as x approaches 1 is equal to 1. And also the limit as x approaches 1 of the function g of x is equal to negative 7. We are asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of g of x multiplied by x minus 1 divided by the square root of x minus 1. And also we are asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of g of f of x. Alright, let's get started. Um, for the first one, you should know that limit of a product is the same thing as product of the limit, right? And hence we can rewrite this one as um, the limit as x approaches 1 of g of x multiplied by the limit as x approaches 1 of the second function which is x minus 1 divided by the square root of x minus 1. But this is given already from the question because it stated that the limit as x approaches 1 of g of x is equal to negative 7 and hence we can replace this with negative 7. So this is equal to negative 7 multiplied by the limit as x approaches 1 of, we can write this one because I know x can be expressed as square root of x whole squared. Because you cannot directly plug in 1 because square root of 1 will give us 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. And we don't want our denominator to be equal to 0, right? So we can rewrite it as um, square root of x whole squared. You should know that this will give us x back minus 1 but 1 is also 1 squared so we have a difference of 2 squared divided by the square root of x minus 1 this is equal to negative 7 multiplied by the limit as x approaches 1 of square root of x minus 1 multiplied by square root of x plus 1 that is what the factorized form of difference of 2 squared divide by the square root of x minus 1. So from here you can cancel this with this. What do we have left? We only have the square root of x plus 1. But x is approaching 1. So we can directly plug in 1. This is equal to negative 7 multiplied by um, square root of 1 plus 1. And we know that square root of 1 is 1 and um, 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 multiplied by negative 7 that will give us negative 14 and hence negative 14 is the solution to the first problem now let us take the second one we are asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of g of f of x all right so this is the b part you should know that g of f of x is a function of a function we are trying to map f of x into g so first of all uh, since limit of a product is the same thing as product of the limit we can bring out g g of the limit as x approaches one of what f of x and what is this this is already given from the question right it is equal to one according to the question given so this is equal to g of what 1 what is then g of 1 g of 1 is equal to negative 7 i will tell you why the only condition which i have excluded is that according to the question g of x is continuous at 1 so if g of x is continuous at 1 and we have seen that the limit exists if the limit exists it implies that g of 1 must also be equal to negative 7 according to continuity so therefore, g of 1 is also equal to negative 7. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.